welcome back to Prissy Beauty. Um, I decided to do this tag today because fall is definitely um, the season of the year for me that's the most beautiful and I'm so thankful that I live in an area where I can actually get to experience all four seasons of the year and that's when I really appreciate fall. Um, so I'm just gonna jump right in. There are 10 questions I believe. Hopefully I got the right tag uh, from the person I'm actually doing this from. Um, so the first question is, uh, what's your favorite fall lip product? And I have a, a couple here just to show you, but for example, I have several lip butters, Revlon lip butters. I have two here that I wanted to talk about. One is Red Velvet, which is a deep color. It's very pretty. I'll show it to you. And even though it's the lip butter, it has a nice pigmentation. And I think because I like these because they're moisturizing in the fall, the temperature drops and it's windy, so your lips start suffering from the elements. So I really like these products because they're moisturizing and at the same time gives you nice color. The other one I have is Sugar Plum and it's this one here. So I think these two colors are perfect, perfect for um, fall. And I have two lipsticks that I want to sh simply show you. Uh, the first one is Syrup by MAC, which is a light pink, and it's a luster, so it's a nice pink color, but with this plumish kind of undertone to it. And the other one, it's a newer one for me, and it's Plumful, uh, which is the bottom one. So I think, you know, with the, those four and maybe a few lip glosses, I'll be all set for fall. So let's see what else. I think the next one is, what's your favorite fall nail polish? And for nail polish, when it comes to fall and winter, I like dark colors. Even though it's ironic, I have nothing on my nails right now. I'm let them breathe for a little bit. But I do have a few here just to show you as an example. Like this one you call by OPI. This, call, this, is, this is a funny name, but sealed with a Chris. So much for the for the wedding not lasting. It's a Nicole by OPI and it's like this burgundy color, beautiful color. Another one I have, this is Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure, plums the word. I got comments about this nail polish before on a video I had. And then another one, it's uh, Pat on the Black. This is like a such dark, dark, um, like blackberry almost color. It's not black and it's not purple but it's a very dark very nice color so I like to explore the dark color nail polishes just because you know I think it, it matches the season number three is what's your favorite Starbucks fall drink and for this one I don't necessarily have a, a Starbucks favorite I have a fall drink that's a favorite of mine which is definitely the pumpkin spice latte and usually I get it from Dunkin Donuts because I think it's cheaper and it's just as good but for me, fall doesn't start until I actually have an official fall drink, which for me is definitely the pumpkin spice latte. Also love apple cider. It's, you know, I don't know if you can get that from Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. I know Dunkin' Donuts has it, but I just love both. So it's pumpkin spice latte and apple cider. My favorite fall candle. It became my favorite fall candle for this for this season. I went into after hearing people talking about the Bath and Body Works uh, candles a lot. I decided to actually go into the store. I'm not too crazy about that store, but I start smelling their candles and I was in love with two of them. The first one is French Baguette, which is not necessarily a fall candle, but it's a. I don't have it to show you yet. I ordered actually online. In fact, if you want to order Bath and Body Works candles, the three wick candles are two for 20 right now there's a sale on the website and you can google 20 percent off coupons as well um so this french baguette is wonderful because when you first smell it has this sweet smell to it but then you realize it's bread it's the smell of bread so it's so good and the other one i got is called marshmallow fireside which is also i like sweet candles you know anything close to vanilla sugar kind of thing I love it. So those are my two favorites for right now. Although I have a key lime pie candle burning in my house right now. Go figure. So the, the other one is, what's your favorite fall scarf or accessory? Definitely, uh, my favorite accessory for fall is definitely scarves. I love scarves. I think they're, they, they always give you this polished look when you put them on and no matter what you're wearing, you put a scarf on, that's it. You know, you, 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 
kicked up a notch, you know? I have two to show you. First one I have is this, and I like these lighter kind of um, pashmina, I think that's they're called, um, scarves, because I think that they're just enough warmth for your neck and air, you know, whatever, but it's not itchy like some of these other fuzzy ones could be. This one is like animal print and has different animal prints on it. I love this this scarf definitely and it's super long and super wide you know you can wear it all kinds of ways like that Ooh. <laughs> so so definitely scarf is my favorite I have another one to show you that fell off and it's this blue and sort of like goldish color um, this is what it looks like I love this with my trench coat my beige coat I think it looks super nice so let's put them on again and there you go. Now we're all fold up. <laughs> I know, right? Super silly. Anyway, so I love scarves and I love wearing them. I wear all the time. So definitely, definitely. Favorite candy to eat on Halloween? Well, besides chocolate that I love, I think candy corn would definitely be my favorite Halloween candy. What are you dressing up for as Halloween? Well, Halloween just passed and I dressed up as a vampire and I even put up a, a tutorial of the makeup I wore with my costume. Cliche, but it was the cheapest costume at Party City, so I went for the cheapest. So what's your favorite thing about fall? Definitely the colors. Absolutely the colors. I think fall colors are the most beautiful colors of the year. Um, all you know the burgundy, the oranges and yellows, the smell of leaves and and just that that crisp kind of weather, which you know you go outside you're not freezing yet, but you know you can wear those cozy nice sweaters and you would just it's just perfect for me it's the best season of the year for sure and it was the season that I also met my husband so it's definitely a special season for me so I believe those are the questions and just to to kick you know just to show you some other, I know I, I read some other tags that had some like five favorite makeup products or whatever I just want to quickly go through this um, besides you know your foundation or whatever you want to use I don't necessarily like heavy foundation I know people tend to wear heavier foundations in the winter and, not, and why not but for me the light foundation is still the same but now uh, like a bronzer like NARS Laguna it's definitely my favorite bronzer at the, the time and I think it's a nice product to have during the fall because you start losing all the color you perhaps got during the summer so it's a nice way to warm up your skin a little bit and then definitely uh, like a a natural looking blush like this is blush babe baby by Mac and plummy berryish kind of uh, blushes this is berry amore by Milani and I have breath of plum by Mac as well I think these kinds of blushes definitely definitely a go you give it a go during the fall and winter times and also I have two of my favorite palettes at the moment, which is the Lorac Pro Palette and the Laura Mercier. This Laura Mercier has nice plummy colors that would be beautiful for for fall. And this tutorial, I just uh, finished using that palette, so you I will be up on my channel either before or after this uh, this video, as well as the Pro, Pro uh, Lorac Pro Pop Palette. Oh my goodness, Lorac Pro Palette especially the matte shades. I think matte eyeshadows go so well with this time of the year as well. Um, it just looks polished and looks very natural. So I just threw in a little extra for you as far as makeup is concerned. Oh, and I read another one that had something about fragrances. I'm just gonna show you the perfumes I'm currently wearing, which is Marc Jacobs Dot, which is a fruity, very nice uh, scent. I don't necessarily think it's only for fall. And I have two more, which is Marc Jacobs, the original. It used to come with a little ribbon here that I lost. And J'adore by Kristen Jor. So those are my perfumes for fall as well. So I've definitely mixed it all up here as far as fall tag is concerned and why not. So if you find this interesting and fun, do it yourself. Leave me a video response on this. I uh, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.